Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're back again, somewhat unexpectedly, in Definitely Not Fried Chicken. You may recall, if you saw the last episode, I wrapped that up saying there are too many bugs, there are too many problems with the dispatch map thing where vehicles appear at a site and cannot properly unload and you've just got to spend so much time micromanaging this whole act activity here. Within moments almost, well it felt like moments anyway, of me uploading and publishing that video, the devs actually released an update which fixed pretty much all the problems I was experiencing at the time. I'm not saying they fixed all the problems with the dispatch map. They probably haven't at this point because there's all sorts of complexities going on and there's things that we players would like to see uh, available to us here on the map as well. But it makes it, for me at least, playable so I can continue and deliver for you another episode. And things have moved on a little bit. We're now, as you can see, at a very healthy bank balance of 19,000. Because if we go to our laundromat, our laundrette here, I have upgraded the business. I have bought all the licenses that I can. I'm at license level three for the laundromat. So I've maxed that out, as it says there. And that also means, if I go here, I've got all the stars. Yes! So I can now get 11 people coming into the business in any at any one time. It's not 11 per day, I believe. It's 11 at any one time, which means the queues at these tills, yes, there are now two tills here, they can get quite long. Though, thankfully, customers appear to be okay to wait for the delivery of their whatever it is they're after. You may also recall, if you saw the last episode, that I was complaining that, okay, I've got all the different types of cannabis here to sell to my customers in the laundrette. So why was I not getting all products available? And that's because all products available, which it doesn't explain anywhere to my knowledge. No, there should be a useful tip here saying all products for this business type. It should, it, it should attempt to explain it anyway. But let me, in that case, explain what's going on here. So it's all the drug products that can be sold in this business so in the laundrette and in the donut shop, that is just the three types of cannabis. In the laundrette, it also means the book stand, the magazine stand, and also this gumball machine thing. So when you upgrade to, I think it is, uh, license level three, you unlock the gumball machine. And once that's installed, along with the magazine stand, you are now supplying everything that people can buy at a laundromat and you get that star. Awesome. I've also employed another cleaner. Uh, so I've now got the cleaner all business hours uh, star there, which basically means that for the business hours of this operation, which is six o'clock in the morning till seven o'clock at night, you need to have a cleaner on shift every hour of that working day. So basically you just need to create two shifts minimum and have two cleaners and they alternate working hours. So if we go to our employee schedule here, I don't do it quite like that. I, I really wish they could improve the layout of this schedule here. It needs to be per business. It needs to be sortable. You need to be able to highlight which schedule you're looking at. Cleaners or engineers or workers. Yeah, this, this is just too confusing and too unfriendly. So as you can see here, uh, cleaner shift one, is operating between five and seven and the cleaner on shift two actually doesn't need to come in at all on those shifts there you are. I'll let you come in at seven and have a tea break but any shift that or any hour that shift one c1 isn't working then the cleaner on c2 should be working and vicky verky vice versa so that every hour of the working day is covered by a cleaner so you get that star that's nice, so we're making, oh, we're losing money again now because the business isn't open. Another few hours to go. Uh, so yes, we're now selling quite a lot of stuff. So if we actually go to our, can we go to our finance panel here for the laundrette? Well, look at that, day 18, we're on day 18. We've already made <laughs> over 13 grand, nearly 13 and a half thousand in profit. Compared to day 17, six and a half, day, 16, five and a half, we're doing fine. 
Yeah, we're making sufficient money. So what's the plan now, Stan? I think what we will do is expand our business empire and perhaps open a donut shop. But what I'll need to do, I think, is make sure that I've actually got enough produce here to supply those businesses and keep them working. Now I have actually streamlined my dispatch a little bit here. I've got just one moped now which goes through all the local businesses and delivers toasted to that to the gun shop, the scrapyard here and the university. We'll look at those in a moment. Well, so I've got three cars, one of which um, does the, well in fact two of them do centre lane. They just go up to the laundrette and I've got a separate car which is just going to, oh it's delivering up there to the astronaut. So it's my special, the specialty orders. No hotline anymore, I've taken that off, that was just taking money away. It's not profitable enough. Uh, so what we're waiting for is to get uh, 20 boxes. Are we going to get 20? We might. We might be one short and meet at last. I was ignoring it previously. Yes, we've got it! Astronaut Jack has got 20 boxes of actually rather better weed than he was expecting. This is our finest hour, says Mr Jack. And uh, that means I should get some reward, I think, which was, if I remember correctly, to do with the employees. I've go to people. Go to, wow, workers. And if I go to Crystal Scott, for example, to their inventory, I think we get a new outfit. There it is, yeah, we get the astronaut suit, which gives them a 70% increase an uplift, if you will, in their meth appliance uh, op speed of operation. So they're much quicker at using the meth uh, equipment. We don't have any meth rooms yet. We're still just making cannabis. So that's, to be honest, rather pointless. And what I've also done is I've rearranged my shifts here for the workers slightly. I've got three shifts now, two people apiece, so that at least during most of the day, at least two people are doing something. Uh, are working. Again, it would be lovely if you could go into the schedule and organise it so that your shifts were sorted. Or, or you could use the colour scheme like we do for the employees and for the vehicles. You colour them together. They need to be categorised, guys. This is a major user experience deficit. I'm not quite sure what that means either, but I'm going to say it. There you are. I've said it. Uh, right, so we need to make sure we've got enough goodies coming out of here if I'm going to build another business. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to extend this operation a bit. We're going to make it longer, I think. So we're going to build some more. Let's get the game running again. We'll build some more of this mess. Uh, sorry, the weed room. go to our research actually in the university okay we can actually unlock meth I'm gonna leave that to the next episode I think we'll get into meth later I want to expand into the donut shop for this episode and that's just going to be uh, cannabis again uh, cocaine that requires <laughs> 1680 points yeah that's a little bit far away gardener's hat uh, fire suit. Oh, they might be useful, actually. Yeah, we'll unlock the fire suit and the fire suit hat, which should together 75, sorry, 90 percent and 10 percent fire resistance should give our engineers 100 percent resistance to fire if any of my equipment bursts into flames and I ask them to uh, to sort it out. So we'll do that. The gun shop. What have we got here? 132 points. 
We could get the revolver. It's a powerful handgun. Or a submachine gun even. What about armor? Got the vest, camo. Oh, we haven't got enough for that. Traps. No, I'm gonna leave those for the moment. We might no, we'll leave that entirely. Scrap guard, 90 points. Get anything here actually. Which might be good. Humidifier. Increases moisture. That might be handy. I'm not sure we need many of the most. Uh, actually. No, the, the medium sprinkler is that much more expensive. Boxing equipment. Auto boxing. No, these are all getting quite pricey now. The bolted door. Ah. That could be handy, actually. Yeah, I'll unlock that, which takes away most of my points. Uh, the university, we've we've done. Can we take anything else out of here? Fan dryer. Yes. That dries the cannabis faster. That might be handy. We'll take that. OK, let's go back to our factory. So we're building out here. We could add another Amazonian bed. Amazonian, there you go, and we'll put you around like that. Actually, could we put could we put another one in here? Now these are just one star beds. So what do they need? Uh, lots of light and heat. Okay, so let's put some light and heat in there. do have a car here on the dispatch map which isn't going anywhere and that's you because the astronaut has disappeared off our quest list so let's actually open up our hotline to sell basic and we'll have the car doing that if it can I'm going to earn a bit more money so we're going to roll on a little bit longer to earn some money uh, I will do a little bit of a quick fadey kind of thing actually you know what we could do is send you to the businesses so we'll take the hotline off no because I do need quite a few more points from two of those businesses at least don't I uh, so we'll actually send you not to hotline but to these businesses so that's the special going there there and there good and he's off, chasing that moped. Oh, the business is doing very well indeed. Uh, we're at uh, nearly four o'clock in the afternoon and we're just about to hit uh, $23,000 in the bank balance. Is this going to do it? I think it should. 23,000, I think that is my cue to add a new business to our empire. Hopefully I've got enough money. It's difficult to judge because yeah, I'm terrible at remembering stuff, basically. But uh, we need a business license for 
the donut shop. Yeah, we need meth before we get into chickens and lobsters and then obviously cocaine for the nightclub and the casino. But we can, from our current factory, supply a donut shop. So we need six grand to buy that license. That's disappeared already. And we need to find somewhere to open a donut business. That's seven grand. That's a bit expensive. This one would run a donut shop. It's only three grand. We could do that one. Five, three there as well. Be nice if you knew where they were in relation to every other business, perhaps, but uh, I don't know. Well, that's quite close to robot production. Wherever that is, I can't remember now. <laughs> so, well, well, we'll just go down these in order, I think. So we'll start with this one. So are you close to anywhere in particular? Close to the gun shop. Oh, where's the gun shop then? The gun shop is right up there. So it's quite possibly one of... The... Oh, it could be directly opposite the laundrette. No, it's not directly opposite, is it? Oh, it could... Oh, yes, there's the laundrette there. That's the laundrette. We have a donut shop right next door to it. Yeah, so that will do, I think. So we will buy that plot for three grand and we will set the business type as donuts. Set that business type. Yes. Okay, so we need to build. Unfortunately, I don't know where the storeroom needs to be so at the moment our cars come in here mm. so I think they actually come up here to turn in there so they might they might stop here for our storeroom so what we'll do is build a very small stock room to start with so we'll build a storeroom we'll put that there okay and we'll put in one of these little shelves like so yeah and uh, we'll put a door on just to show willing how much those bolted doors cost? 265, that's quite expensive. Put an ordinary door on there, like so. Alright, so can I actually set one of my vehicles? Aha! I like the moped to deliver to our donut shop. I just want one product to go there. Yeah, because I don't want to waste any time or money. Because if, if that storage room is in the wrong place, then if I move the shelving unit, then the, uh, the, the product would be lost. I'll have lost money. I don't want to do that. Okay, so bear with me. I'll just roll this forward just a little bit until our moped turns up and goes to the donut shop. And we'll check to see where he's actually... You see, there's the car coming up to uh, where is it oh missed it <laughs> but they do come up there don't they so where would they come up they might mm. I've no idea no, this is purely in aid of getting the most efficient location for our where are they? for our yeah, our storeroom. Yeah, that's entirely the wrong place, you see. So the storeroom needs to be over here. Which means it's much quicker and more efficient for my staff to get in to get that stuff out of the vehicle and into the business. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, send you... Uh, which one? You're the moped, weren't you? Send you there, not to the donut shop. So you're going on to the scrapyard now, are you? Can 
Didn't I tell you to leave, leave that location? There you go. Okay, right, let's build our new business. We're going to need both a kitchen in which to prepare the product and also a dining area in addition to all the staff facilities as well. So this is going to be a relatively expensive operation. So in fact, let's demolish some of that. Actually, I don't want that shelf. I want to use the pallets because they allow us to store more product. Put you there actually and move that door to there. Uh, right, so we're going to build a kitchen. It's going to need a fridge, a sh cutting desk, a shaping desk, frying option, and a food dispenser. Uh, for three different types, or well, four different types of donut we could make. And the type of donut we can make, I think, depends upon, yeah, the franchise, the license level we've got. So we can only make basic donuts at this point. we've got everything good we need staff so employees going to hire a couple of workers going to hire an engineer and a cleaner and the hours of working here are eight till nine so we're going to set up a new schedule We'll base it on our laundry one, shall we? So we'll duplicate laundry work schedule one. And this is going to be donut spelt incorrectly, may I say? Worker one. And you don't start that early. Actually, no, we could have them working much the same time, actually. Because we'll still need round the clock staff. Yeah to cater for delivery of, uh, of goods, of, of drugs. Right, so we'll duplicate that. And you can be Donut W2. And we'll have you working all these other hours. 
So that's our donut worker shifts. Uh, do we want... Actually, I think I'll leave the engineering and cleaner shifts the same as the laundry for the time being. Mm, okay. Again, we will want to separate out kitchen and dining room staff at some point. But I think to start the business, we'll have everyone doing everything, multitasking, see how that hangs together. Not the best solution, but there you go. So cleaners, you can be on. Laundry cleaner shift one. The engineer. Okay, does all that stuff. <laughs> oh, you do oh, repairing and putting out fires. Ah, okay. Interesting. We shall see. And you can be on the laundry engineer one shift. And the two workers. You can make that and also do the till and the un unloading of the vehicles. And we'll do that and we'll find the shift right at the end. Donut one. And you can do donut two. There you go. You can do the ordinary donuts and the till and the unloading. I'm not seeing any indication of stuff bursting into flames, which is good. Which means I don't need to buy the fire resistant outfit for the engineer, which I'm sure is quite, quite expensive. So what we need to do, or we need to say that business is now open. It's open from eight o'clock till, oh, it's just, <laughs> just closed down. Okay, well, we'll leave that there, make it open. And we will also send our two cars to both businesses, the donut shop and the laundrette. I'm just thinking what might happen is if this fryer does uh, get very worn out and is not repaired quickly enough by the engineer, it might then burst into flame. But if you watch my uh, early access uh, series, then you'll know that some equipment will burst into flame spontaneously unless the environmental conditions like the cooling, humidity or whatever is set correctly to keep it in a stable condition. I wonder if it might be worth having a door out of the kitchen to save my staff having to... Because what they'll probably do is rather than go to the storeroom and out to pick the goodies up, is they'll go out through the, the front of house, through, through the dining area. If I put a door in here, uh, we could use one of those new bolted ones. Yeah, Can I put you in there? I can. We'll see what difference that makes. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's now off shift. Fair enough. Oh, where, 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 are you, where are you going? What are you doing? So you're, you're on a break, are you? Okay. But you should at some point soon within the hour, start unloading. Yeah, there are some times where staff are on break. There you go, good. Actually, what I might do here is what I've done at the laundrette, is I've set separate pallets up for each type of cannabis. I'm not entirely sure why I did that. It kind of made sense to me at the time, but what I might do actually is uh, schedule, sorry, mark this rather, whoops just to do the toasted, actually deselect all, just select toasted, and put separate pallets in for the other types as well. And there, and there. Oops, no, got rid of it. There you go. Don't move it, there you go. There, D, 
deselect you can do toasted deselect you can do Amazonian now you see that fryer is uh, the is wearing out the red bar there is getting higher and the green bar getting lower whichever way you are where do you want to look at it So what's the finance look like today? Ooh. Oh, we've only just turned into the day. That's okay. <laughs> so yesterday. Actually, that's not too bad. 12,500 in profit. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Oh, I did I put the wrong product on there, didn't I? That's uh, basic, not toasted. That's it. Basic, toasted, Amazonian. Sweet. Ah, the engineer has fixed it. Excellent. So it's going to be a matter of keeping an eye on that to make sure it doesn't uh, degrade too quickly. So I may need to either buy another fryer, which I will anyway for making different types of donuts, or employ more engineers, or have engineers at least working longer okay you're doing all right I oh, look at this this is very busy I may need to increase the number of machines and stuff on here yeah provide more facilities in there make it a pleasant more pleasant environment so we'll do that in the next episode and we have customers do we have working we don't have working staff oh we do we do come on and what do you want? Again, we're... Now, the thing is, what we're not seeing there, because we're losing the bubble, is they're asking for a donut of a particular type, which we're not able to make yet. Where the hell are you going? You're going all the way... What? What? No, so that that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No. That's outrageous. Okay, we may have to redefine. We may need to move that storeroom. So we'll move the, yeah, we'll move the staff facilities down here to, I don't know, what we're going to do. We're going to have to rearrange it because this is just ludicrous. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I think we'll leave it there for, for now. So we have opened up a brand new business. We have a donut shop. We are making money again. And in fact, we can see that here. Yeah, we're making money in both the laundromat and the donut shop. Our factory is losing money because we're not providing hotline orders anymore. But we're doing reasonably well by the look of it. I think we're fine. And we'll leave this here. And I will say, as usual, thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of definitely not fried chicken if you've enjoyed this it'll be great to hear from you a little bit of a like would be lovely just click on the old thumbs up button even better if you've got anything to say about what I'm doing with the game or the game itself then please do just drop a note into the comments box below that would be awesome other than that of course if you've not already subscribed to the channel you could do that now and that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Definitely Not Fried Chicken, until the next time, bye-bye for now.